everyone, Sophia here for My Great Challenge. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something I haven't done in a while, <laughs> for a long while. It's a uh, current favorite. And actually, as part of the current favorite, I have two that are gift ideas. Since the holidays are coming up, you know what that means. There's going to be more and more gift ideas videos because sometimes we buy stuff for the same people for 20 something years while well, we run out of ideas, okay? We just do. So instead of buying yet another pair of slippers, a shirt or a gift card, let's think outside of the box and how about some fantastic, gorgeous, exquisite Asian designs. So it's no secret, um, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I love anything Asian. I have, just right now I'm counting one, two, three, and four Asian lamps, uh, two, three Asian prints, I have some Asian bowls over there. Um, I just love Asian designs, Chinese, Japanese, Korean. We love Asian food in general in my house. Um, Mom went to Japan in 76 and then again in 77. And to be honest, I think this is what started it all because my mom fell in love with Japan, brought back a lot of Japanese things, and I was exposed to Asian designs very early on. So whenever I see something Asian, um, I tend to gush over it and I'm about to do that. I discovered a website called Glorious Collection. I'm going to give you some um, screen recording of the website and I have to tell you I was in awe at the beauty of the items that they have in this particular uh, shop. They specialize in Chinese and Tibetan um, designs. They sell purses, jewelry, and teacups and today I'm going to showcase a bag and a teacup and I have to tell you they are the prettiest things the bag in particular is the prettiest bag I've ever owned granted I haven't owned a lot of bags but this thing is absolutely exquisite so let's start with the bag I love this thing <laughs> This is called, look at this, isn't it beautiful? This is called the Vintage Rivers and Mountains Mulberry Silk Handbag. Um, and it is, you can either have it just as a handbag or it also comes with the strap. And it's an adjustable and removable strap. And this is leather, 100% leather, and it's silk. Um, the whole shell on the outside is silk. You also get a um, stone and pearl and cloisonne uh, pompon thing that you can also remove. You don't have to keep it. And the purse itself is so beautifully handcrafted. It absolutely is stunning. So let me show you the back of it. Of course, I did a video where I show it a little bit more uh, closer. Um, I like that there's no silk at the bottom so it doesn't get damaged. Now, the thing that I've noticed is that when you go online and you look at the bag, they are all different because they have uh, different cuts of the same fabric. So your bag is not necessarily going to be just like mine with all the mountains here in the front. Now on the inside, it's just a very basic purse. Uh, it's a snap closure, again, all leather, and it's just a regular one compartment it has a card slot here or phone slot and then it has a little zippered pocket right here beautiful two snaps by the way when you look at the little um buckle here it even has the same little stamp that's in the front the same logo so it's filled with details and it feels wonderful to the touch, of course, because it is silk. Um, again, you can remove this if you don't want it. Let me show you some close-ups and then when I come back, 
I'll, uh, I'll carry it around so you can see what it looks like uh, for size comparison. This is stunning. The stitching, beautiful. Side panels here are leather. Uh, there's another stitching here. There's two little leather feet type pads um, at the bottom so that you can, you know, if you put it down somewhere, it doesn't necessarily get um, scratched. And I'm looking at all the details here, but look at the stitching over here. Now, very often you're going to buy a purse and the stitching is all right. And then you'll see a little bit of a thread poking out, right, where they cut the thread. And this one, it's perfect. It's absolute perfection. I have never owned a bag this pretty, this delicate, this different. It's so exquisite. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. All right, let me show you some uh, little, you know, B-roll, we call it. And then when I come back, I'll give you my final thoughts on it and the price. Isn't it beautiful? It really is. The purse is $149 on the uh, website. And my understanding is that the landscaping on it is a traditional type of Asian art. Um, they always represent nature and in particular mountains and rivers. And in the past, those would be embroidered on silk. And I don't know if you've ever seen those double-sided embroidery that the Chinese do. They would have a piece of silk and then they would embroider it, but the embroidery would show both ways in the front and in the back. You wouldn't see the back stitching, basically. I have no idea how they do it, but it's absolutely stunning. Um, so $149 on the uh, website. And it also comes in yellow and it comes in black. So if you're not too fond of, you know, a busy pattern, um, there's options for it. Let me walk around with it so you can see what it looks like carried. Um, I'm 5'5", five five. that gives you an idea of the size of the bag compared to me. And hopefully I am not too backlit, but here we go. So let's just say you go to the theater, uh, you go to the restaurants, you go on a date or maybe you go shopping um, and again you can remove the tassel you don't have to have the tassel the strap will allow you to carry it cross body and of course you can carry it uh, as a shoulder bag I personally prefer it like this I tend to um, need to have my hands busy when I'm uh, out and about so here it is I think it's absolutely stunning. Can you imagine going to a restaurant and then you walk in and then you have this purse with you? Let me tell you, this is definitely something people will ask you about. This purse is, again, the prettiest purse I've ever had. So that was the purse. When I come back, I will showcase another item from the same company, Glorious Collection. This one is a teacup. Wait until you see the teacup. What a gift to someone or to yourself. I mentioned earlier that when I discovered the website and I went through, of course, I went straight to the China. Okay. Um, I could not believe, first of all, the variety of tea sets and designs that they have. And they also have a lot of travel tea sets. If you want to, uh, like, for instance, if you make your own matcha, if you are a tea drinker and you enjoy your own tea, you don't want to get a Lipton, you know, 
you can travel with a little set that will give you a mini teapot with the infuser and a teacup and you can also do that for like six little cups it's absolutely am amazing they have pottery and they have porcelain the one i'm going to show you um is meant to be a gift it comes with a fabulous <laughs> fabulous uh gift box that you can keep forever this gift box is amazing um, so I'm going to show you my unboxing and when I come back, I'll talk about the teacup. I cannot get over how beautiful this thing is. Uh, so this is called the persimmon uh, teacup and you saw that it has its own infuser. It is gold accent and persimmon in Chinese tradition is for luck and good fortune. So it's a meaningful gift as well. This is heavy. This is not very thin China. Uh, this is heavy china it's the kind of mug that when you actually hold it you feel like you're holding something um so it's not see-through or anything but the design look at the design and so it's a persimmon tree and you see the fruit there's a little bird right here and then on the back of it it's got a tea set and then um, wishes for good luck and fortune. It's got the little top. The handle is good enough for three fingers, at least three of mine. The plate, the accent plate is also beautiful. And it's got the persimmon on it and the same little tea tray at the bottom. And then the uh, infuser is perfect. Now, when I tried it, I did burdock root and Lapsan Sushang tea, which is a, a smoked black tea. And there was nothing at the bottom. The infuser is actually um, thin enough that it will strain any kind of loose leaf tea. As a gift, this is phenomenal. They have different design with the same concept of the teacup, the lid, the infuser, and uh, the saucer. The cup itself, because it's a gift and it comes in a box, is a little more than you would expect. It's $115, but as a gift, even to yourself, this is phenomenal. I, I gotta tell you, this cup is so pretty. It's pretty enough to just display of course you want to use it and they are very attentive to the customers because as i had this order shipped over they sent me this and 
it usually comes whenever you order something with the persimmon pattern on it and they have different ones and what is this it's a ceramic persimmon tea canister it's so cute and it's made the traditional way with the cloth right here holding it and making the seal so this you can take to work and you can put your tea in it if you want to drink um, loose tea at work which is what I plan on doing and you take this and that and how fancy are you going to look in your cubicle okay this is beautiful so the cup is twice fire uh, in the kiln meaning that um, they fired it they did the design put another glaze on it and fire it again and you see how the handle is not like a straight you know half heart or it's a little bit crooked it's meant to look and mimic the persimmon branches that are on the front and the persimmon tree so they really put a lot of thoughts into their design they also sell on the uh, website um a tea canister that is matching the teacup so you can have that set as well i'll put all the links down below i think that between the purse and those teacups not necessarily this one because you may not be a fan of the pattern they have so many different ones are perfect gifts for the holidays um, if you are running out of idea or options and you know somebody who's either a tea drinker somebody who appreciates fine china or somebody who likes me is a big fan of asian art in general those two gifts will make them very happy okay when i come back we're going back to good old vintage Sophia and my great challenge. We're going to talk about beauty products. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I, um, I had a haircut. <laughs> I had a haircut and my hair is looking a little bit different. Um, and it's looking, I think, curlier and silkier. And if you remember, I had asked... Uh, what can I do about my hair, right? Because uh, I have curls and I don't know how to manage my curls. And then I got like so many different replies. So I tried different things. Uh, I tried the Love Your Curls products, which I had done in the past. They're okay. But like anything else, when I put product in my hair the following day, it's a tangled mess and I have to wash it again. Uh, so I tried Olaplex and the Olaplex went straight back to the store. I, I put the Olaplex product on my hair and it became like this helmet of tangled web that I couldn't even put my fingers in it. It went straight back to and all of them. Olaplex, not for me. So I did some research and I said, okay, I've been trying for the past three years now to eliminate a lot of chemicals in my life definitely in my food um, and mostly in my beauty routine. I try to use the least amount of products and I'm always looking for the one product that's going to do it all for me. What I'm going to show you is just a conditioner and nothing else. What I've been doing lately is that I've been washing my hair. I use the Viore um, solid bar to wash my hair with because again I'm trying to remove all the SLS and all of that parabens you name it and then I apply a conditioner I am so happy with this conditioner I feel no need to put any kind of product on my hair afterwards I just wash condition rinse calm walk away and this is my hair after I did that so my curls are nice I mean, right? <laughs> Natural curls. It's not poofy. It's not freezy. It feels super soft. I can sleep on it. The following day, I can brush it. I don't have to wash my hair again. So what is this miracle product I found? This is by, I got to wear my glasses. This is by Nature India. And this is a Ayurvedic and organic conditioner and it's a hair cream it prevents and repair breakage and it's got shikake and amla oil 
Now, amla seed and amla oil, my understanding is that in Ayurvedic medicine is actually a treatment that is being used for hair loss. And I do have thinning. Uh, part of it is Hashimoto and the rest is just age and genetic. I am thinning a lot in the front and over here. I see it on camera. If I see it, you can see it. Uh, I don't plan on using any kind of product to get some hair growth, uh, you know, but I will use products that will assist in delaying the hair loss. So I found this and I can actually wash if I wanted and condition every day, which I don't, but you could because it is all organic and natural. It smells like peppermint. It is such a good product. There's not a lot in the bottle, but you don't need a lot. You really don't need a lot. I use maybe the equivalent of a walnut size, you know, so I have a good month worth of products and it's cheap. This thing is under 10 bucks. Okay. And I finally found, I mean, look, my hair is looking the best it's looked in a long time. So I recommend the Nature India Ayurvedic and Organic Hair Cream with Shikake and Amla. I'm going to look for the shampoo and I understand that they also have a hair oil uh, that you could put on and you sleep on it and then the following day you just wash everything. I cannot tell you how much of a um, lifesaver this is. I'm so tired of spending a ton of money on products to try to get my hair to not be frizzy, my curls to look natural, and my hair to look like I don't have anything on it. I don't like the look of products, I just don't. And this does it. This does it. So curly, frizzy hair does it. Straight hair probably does a fantastic job. So that was hair product. Moving on, skin. I have been using this and it's been my current favorite for over two years now. This has to be my probably sixth purchase. And I talked about it in a previous video when I was doing uh, my makeup. This is the H20 cushion foundation. This is the only foundation I have been using for the past three years. Um, it's, I found it on Instagram uh, and I gave it a try. And I've been hooked and I haven't purchased any other foundation since. So let me show you how this works. First of all, when you order it, you get the, uh, um, the container and then you get two of these. So you get the foundation plus a refill. It's about $32, uh, links down below. It's about $32 and they have two different ones. They have this one and then they have the pink one, which I believe is more of a dewy finish. Um, this one is just like the regular finish. So you get two. It lasts forever. It really lasts forever. And it's very easy to replace. Um, so you open it. It has the little puff, which I wash. And then you open it here. And this is what the foundation looks like. And when you're ready to replace it, and when you're ready to replace it, you just pop that out and put a new one in. That's it. Why do I like this? Well, I have age spots and freckles and sun spots and all of that, okay? But I also don't like to cover everything. I don't like a full coverage. I like a medium coverage that looks natural where you can see my actual skin shine through. And that will do it. It's a medium coverage. It's buildable, so if you want more, you can put more on it. It works great with the sponge, but you can use another sponge or you can use a, uh, a brush if you want to. This thing will last all day. It doesn't melt off. It doesn't gather in wrinkles. It's not cakey. It's moisturizing. It gives me somewhat of a dewy look, which I get rid of anyway, because I put a rice powder over my face afterwards. But I kid you not, this gotta be the six times that I purchased one of those in the last three years. So I buy two a year, so I go through, um, you know, one refill 
for three months just about that's how long it lasts because you really don't need a lot only because I don't put it on this is amazing this is again one of the best foundations I ever had this is Korean by the way and I know that you've probably heard about how great Korean beauty products are this is Korean it has an SPF of 50 in it and again stays on all day beautiful finish there's different colors mine is the um medium there's two medium is this light medium and then this medium medium that's the one i got and they are made in korea excellent product um well worth the price personally for what you get which is all of this for 32 dollars. i think it's a great buy link down below next still on skincare I told you I'm trying to do all natural products, right? Even though I'm tr trying the proven thing right now. Okay, I found this on Etsy um, and I really like it. This is Lucid Facial Oil. This is a moisturizing oil blend for acneic and oily skin. You only need a few drops and then you just pat it in. That's it. It smells wonderful. This is such a nice oil. Now, you know, a lot of people for a long time said oh don't put any oil on your face oil is going to clog your pores no it doesn't this actually really treats your skin so it will clean out your pores it will soften your skin it will refresh you if i like to use it after splashing hot water i just put it on and then i just live it i don't even it, it absorbs it doesn't you see i just put some on it absorbs it doesn't feel greasy i use it at night i don't use it during the day so i bought it um on etsy and this is a small business which i'm always for supporting and it's formulated with both acne and oily skin in mind allowing your skin to drink in nature's goodness in all forms Moisturizing oil contains phenomenal ingredients for oilier skin, like hazelnut oil, yojoba oil, basil, bergamot, essential oil, and a small amount of the incredibly effective turmeric oil, but it won't color your skin. I can definitely smell the turmeric. Um, not so much the hazelnut, but the turmeric I can smell. This is really good. This is really, really good. If you're trying to simplify your skincare routine uh, and you just want to wash, oil, and go, try this. Lucid Facial Oil, available on Etsy. I'll put the link below to her shop because she's doing a great job. Okay, last product. Uh, this one, I care also found on Etsy, I'm trying to simplify and have the least amount of ingredients possible to put on my skin. And this one is going to horrify so many people and let it be <laughs> beef tallow. That's all there is. This is eye cream. It's beef tallow. Link down below for the Etsy shop. It's a small Etsy shop, a traditional tallow. And they do products that are uh, made of beef tallow. And this is just what it is. What is beef tallow? It's beef fat. Okay, that's all it is. It's fat. There is nothing else in this product. And do you know what? It doesn't even smell like meat or fat. It's barely anything at all. Um, I've been in love with this. Totally in love with this. Now, you, some of you are probably like, oh my God. Okay, so clearly this is not vegetarian, all right? But do you know that tallow is what women used back in the days before the whole industry started to put chemicals and all of the crazy stuff, uh, you know, with the Ys and the TH and the uh, numbers attached to it? That's what women used was beef tallow. They used to put tallow on their face, on their hands, on their... Um, eyes uh, anywhere they wanted to moisturize and i gotta tell you this is great now is it making my wrinkles disappear no because it's not a filler that's not the uh, uh the goal of this the goal is to keep my eye area moisturized so that my wrinkles are kind of minimized and 
it delays new ones somewhat but age is age okay so unless you put artificial stuff on your face you're not going to be able to make anything disappear so beef tallow yes that's the one right there i don't need anything else uh these were my current favorite um the teacups is by far and the purse my top 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 and then this one here I'll never go without it. I'm definitely buying the shampoo and the rest of it. And then this, this is amazing. Um, all the links are down below. I hope you enjoy this. I'm out of practice with current favorite. And to be honest, unbeknownst to you, in exactly uh, 30 minutes, I'm actually leaving. I have a procedure that needs to be done. And I have been fasting for 48 hours. I haven't had any food. For 48 hours because that's what they wanted me to do um i'm a little salty <laughs> i can't wait to eat and drink i'm very thirsty um so you're not seeing me in my best okay but i needed to film this video um so i can publish it for you guys on wednesday i will see you later the links are down below think about your friends uh think about yourself if anything if you're gonna buy yourself something ladies okay you buy one one thing that i recommend it get this because the skin care because the foundation uh i may not be able to match your skin tone but this everybody has hair that needs treatment and oh it feels baby soft <laughs> My hair hasn't felt baby soft in so long. Now, now I feel like growing my hair. Before I had to cut it because I couldn't manage to curls. But I feel like maybe I, I'll grow my hair now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hear scots coming down the stairs. That is my cue to get in the car, get out of here, have my procedure so I can go to the diner and enjoy a BLT with, uh, a BLT with avocado. Because that's what I'm craving right now. A BLT with avocado. I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.